Hey, it's Kim and welcome back. Today we are at TRACon 2023. This is a trading card convention in the Melbourne International Convention Center. I am super excited to be back here again. I am going to do some shopping. We're going to check out what's on offer. If you were here today and you said hi, thank you so much. I'm really excited about making some new friends. There's also the possibility we could get a Mitsuhiro Arisa signature today. I have a ticket, so I just hope I can get my place in the queue. Thank you so much for checking this out. Let's go see what we can find. TRACon 2023, would you like to introduce yourself? Yep, my name's Spiro. Uh, I've got uh, the card cape, so uh, yeah. So we know Spiz, we've known Spiz for a while. Um, he does lots of fun stuff. We had this wheel spin. I put it on my Instagram story. I didn't do too very, very well today, but I have had some success in the past. Um, you also sell singles, you sell sealed products. Yeah, yeah. What's your favorite thing about running a card store? Um, so yeah, probably started the business just over a year and a bit ago. So I really started just cause I love the hobby and uh, I found stuff really hard to come by over COVID. And, just uh just through the passion of obviously wanting to provide and meet everyone um yeah that's pretty much why uh yeah we created the card cave so yeah having a bit of fun yeah, yeah. and it's really fun to come to events like this um yeah. we saw you at melbourne card yeah, fair yeah. um have you got anything coming up that you're excited about yeah so we've got two more sort of card conventions i would say early september and what we're gearing towards is the Royal Melbourne Show. So we've taken off, we've uh, yeah, got a really big, exciting, um, we haven't announced it yet on our socials or anything like that, but yeah, the Royal Melbourne Show is a big 11 day event here. So we're super excited and uh, yeah, gearing towards that now. So yeah, it should, it should be really fun. That should be really cool. Well, keep a look out for Card Cave AU. I'll put all of their links and socials and stuff down below. Yeah. Australian retailers. So do you want to tell us your name and yep. where you work? Yeah, uh, my name's Harry. I run the business Edge Collectibles. So we're an online store based in uh, South East Melbourne. And we'll put the link down below if anybody wants to go check them out. So tell us like, what got you started doing Edge Collectibles? Um, well, I was at uni at the time. I uh, didn't have much money. I uh, had a huge Pokemon collection at home. So I was like, oh, I could try to do both, manage my own personal collection and sell what I don't want. So started beginning there and then got well known with all the Japanese products and now I ship so much stuff in from Japan and sell it on over here. That's so amazing. yeah. It's yeah. so hard to get stuff. How mm. long have you been doing it? Uh, two and a half years now. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, no, it's really good. Incredible. And I know you run this with someone from your family. Yeah. How's that going? No, really good. Really yeah. good. Yeah, really busy, which is nice. <laughs> yeah, nice yeah. to nice to get yeah. it with someone that you trust. As yeah, well. no, it is, yeah. Awesome. Do you have any advice for anybody if they wanted to start doing something like this? Um, I guess just follow what you know, like it's a lot easier when you know the product yeah. um, and you're not getting stuff in that you don't really know um, and just be passionate about what you're selling really. Absolutely, yeah. 100%. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, no Harry. worries. Thank you. It. Thank you. So it's the end of TRA Con day one. I had so much fun. I picked up some packs to open and I'll show you a haul at the end of this video. Um, but these are just some loose packs. So I spent a very long time in line, unfortunately, waiting for a potential Arita signature. Unfortunately, um, there were just way too many people that wanted one. I hadn't bought a VIP pass. I've palmed off the cards I wanted to get signed to a couple of friends that are vendors. So I'm hoping that might give me better luck for tomorrow. I'm gonna to go in early. Fingers crossed, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. It's not the end of the world. But otherwise, it was so good. I got to catch up with a bunch of people that I don't see very often. Um, my local game store was there as well, NJ Collectibles. It was really nice to catch up with him. He had a booth and was doing really well. Picked up these packs from Card Cave AU um, and that is always an absolute pleasure. Hopefully get some sort of hit, perhaps. I've only got one more, 
Um, and then I've got a mystery box to open up as well. So did a bit of shopping. There were loads of goodies. I tried to have some self-control. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen a bunch of stuff in my stories. I didn't actually buy too much today. I will be going back tomorrow, have a bit more of a look, see what's there, see what kind of tempts me. Um, but I did I try to control myself a bit today. There were so many good singles, um, so many good other items like bags and accessories, nothing from the loose packs. We shall see how we go with the mystery box. Um, so many good accessories. I did buy this cute scrunchie today, which I absolutely love. Um, hopefully, I do pick up some more deals tomorrow. I think there will probably be some things on sale, which would be really nice. This is a PKM mystery box from Cherry Collectibles, another store that I love to shop at. We got a Zation B, nothing too crazy, unfortunately, for the single from this one. Um, I did actually manage to get a Gengar Max alt art out of one of these PKM boxes. So they do have some pretty cool cards in them sometimes. Maybe with our loose packs, we'll get something. I've started with Obsidian Flames, starting with a new set. I am excited about tomorrow. I have my fingers crossed for the possibility of a signature. I feel like that would be really nice. But otherwise, it's just nice to catch up with people. Nice to see all of the artists as well. There are so many creatives in the Pokemon space, make amazing things. I will include some more clips tomorrow as well if I find some other goodies to show off. But it's just a nice time to get together with other people that have the same interests. If you have the opportunity to go to a convention near you or even travel perhaps interstate to go to one, I would highly recommend it. There is an Oz Comic Con in Sydney next month, which I'm really excited for. Um, but there's always something on, always something good to look forward to. At least we got hit. Last pack magic, we've got Astral Radiance out of that PKM mystery box. I would love to see a secret rare out of one of these packs. We've ripped a few. Hopefully we get something good out. Oh, no, it's, wait, how many to the front? Four to the front. Oh, goodness. There we go. Four to the front. It's been a minute since I've opened Sword and Shield. We got there eventually. Shield on. I have not opened Astral in ages. I almost can't even remember what all the chases are. I do remember there's a very nice Vulpix card in here though, so I'd like to see that. We've got a Bronzor. Ooh, and a Rainbow to wrap it up, Typhlosion. I'm so excited. All right, we got a good hit. I'll have to sleeve that up. So tomorrow I'm back at CRA Con. I will get some more vlog footage to share it with you. If you have fun conventions and stuff coming up near you, feel free to share them in the comments down below. I'd love to hear about it and I shall see you tomorrow. Bye. Hey, and welcome back to TRA Con day two. I have already had to sneak inside because there's something very special I got to pick up. I am over the moon. I'm so grateful to my local card shop, NJ Collectibles, for helping me organize this. I waited in line for like four hours yesterday and it didn't happen. I was really disappointed, but thankfully the community pulled through. I got some help and I managed to get my signed card. So I am really, really stoked. Today, I'm just gonna do some more shopping. I'm gonna check the stuff out that's inside. I didn't buy too much yesterday because I kind of wanted to just see what was there. And then honestly, it was a little bit overwhelming because there were so many people, which is a really good thing. I think we've had such a good turnout and I seriously hope that TRA Con does a part two <laughs> next year maybe. Um, but yes, we're gonna go check out what's inside and I'll take you with me. Welcome back to TRA Con 2023. Do you want to introduce yourself? I'm Josh. I run, own, and manage NJ Collectibles. Um, and that's Nathan. <laughs> I manage him too. <laughs> so, NJ is my local card shop, my absolute favorite place to go. They stock English, Japanese, all sorts of other TCGs I don't know anything about. Yep, me what, neither. What do you most love about running NJ Collectibles? Um, the people, actually. Like, so, we're very community focused. Um, we try to stay that way despite you know some of the troubles that we come through the economic statuses and such but um dealing with the people and coming to an event like this and meeting people that i've been speaking to online for years um that's probably the best thing yeah, yeah. the community that you build and being able to see kids get into the hobby as well yeah for sure i for watched sure. him trade a rillaboom b for a japanese plush without like breaking his way like, yeah that's fine <laughs> yeah 
the little the little face lit up as well. He did. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I went and told dad, and then he had to come back and say thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was very sweet. Yeah, it was a good time. I am so glad you came today. What yeah. was the hardest thing about getting to Melbourne for this? Um, honestly, just getting the logistics of everything going and making sure that um, it stayed a reasonably affordable. Um, I was very, very nervous to kick it off, but everything's run like it's blown expectations apart. So um, all nerves are settled. But yeah, I'd say I'd say just logistically planning, prepping, knowing that everyone's running very similar gear. Like we've all got Pokemon cards, we've all got all the different items that we have. Um, trying to build a point of differentiation. Yep. Um, and I was we were talking about it for maybe an hour, I'd say. And my point of differentiation is variety yep. we have product lines after product lines after product lines exactly. so we brought a sprinkle of everything and it's been the perfect execution 100 yeah. yeah i don't yeah. think we could have done too much better and you priced yourselves really well as well same prices in the shop actually a few okay. discounts yeah but yeah 100 yeah. what can we look forward to in the next couple months for nj um so obviously our in-store stuff is going to start tidying up right. a little bit we've got a lot of in-store events we should have a trade day coming up in october yep. and then uh, oz comic con uh in sydney so uh 2023 oz comic con we're going to go huge for that. So we're actually, I'll be there. Yeah, we're going to actually lift and shift the whole shop and just make it a big fish bowl. So it's yeah. going to be good fun. It's going to be sick. We'll I'll see yeah. you there. Beautiful. Thanks, Josh. Thanks so much for doing this. Yeah, no worries. Do you want to tell everybody your name? Oh, cool, yeah. My name is Melvin Chan and I go by uh, Melvin Chan Art and yeah, I'm just here sharing all my paintings this weekend. You've got so much cool artwork. Have you got a favourite Pokemon? Me? Uh, Cubone for sure. Yeah, 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 I just got him uh, right here actually. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's awesome. my favourite one. Yeah, yeah. Why is that? I just thought he was a cute little guy. Yeah, kind of looks like a little dinosaur sort of thing and I always uh, have a soft spot for like little, cute little dinos and stuff. So yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Have you been an artist for a long time? I've been doing it for about uh, 14 years now. That's amazing. So yeah, I guess a little while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. that is a long <laughs> yeah, yeah. time. Did you yeah. go to school for it or? Uh, no, I, I graduated from university in a games degree with no real skills to get into the industry. And then um, I learned that, you know, they, they look for artists to, yeah. uh, as um, people to get into that industry. So I decided just to teach myself and to do that. But then I found that I just like painting in general. You know, it doesn't have to be for a game or anything. and. I've just been doing it ever since, yeah. That's so cool yeah. for it, to be self-taught and be able to do this sort of stuff. Oh That's yeah, no, amazing. it's awesome. Oh, thank you, thank you. Have you got any big goals or like big projects you're working on that you want to like share? Um, not really right now, I guess. I'm just, just sharing everything that I paint um, just online on all my social media. It's just everything at Melvin Chan Art, you know, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and all that. And just whatever I feel like, I just, I just go for it. So I don't have like a specific project right now, but cool. yeah, yeah. We'll put all the links down below. Are you going to come up to any like upcoming conventions or events happening soon? Um, I travel to all the ones um, interstate. So I do yeah. all the Comic Cons and Supernovas and so forth. I don't think there's any in Melbourne per se, but yep. there's some in the upcoming weeks, so like Sydney Comic Con. And, yep, I'll see you there. Oh, awesome, awesome. Awesome, it's yeah, so nice cool. to meet you. Thank you oh, so you much. Too, too. Now that I am back from TRACon, I wanted to quickly show you some of my favorite things that I picked up. Um, if you haven't seen my Instagram reel or YouTube short yet, please go check that out because I showed off some of my other favorites there. There were so many cards that I have looked at for a long time that I just hadn't ever had a chance to pick up in person. So I've got this Erica's Dragonair, which is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I also have this Togetic, which I think is so sweet. I have this artwork in English and I'm really excited to add it to my collection in Japanese. There were so many good tag teams. A lot of them are really expensive. Um, there is an alternate art of this Jigglypuff and Lopunny, but I was just really happy to pick up this one in general. I think he's so adorable. I have been looking at this Bulbasaur from Fire Red Leaf Green for ages. I've wanted to paint it for so long and I'm so happy to finally have it in my collection. It's by uh, Nuka Nishida. It is one of the sweetest artworks. I really like Bulbasaur. It's He's my starter of choice. I think he's absolutely adorable. So I'm really stoked to have him. I, I don't know if I'm going to paint it or if I'm going to keep it, but I think he's absolutely gorgeous. I also picked up a few things for my Tomokazu Kamiya binder. I have this Bulbasaur, which is absolutely gorgeous. This reverse Diglett, which just looks like so sad. 
And then a Charmeleon, that's a really nice dynamic artwork. I love e-reader cards, so I'm excited to add some more of these to my collection. I also managed to get some signed pieces. So this is an original artwork by Mitsuhira Arita, who was providing signatures at the event. Um, he signed all of these in advance so you could buy them. And if you don't know by now, I have pet bunnies. They are my favorite thing in the whole entire world. So I was really excited to get this like space bunny artwork. I also was super lucky to get this Wiggly Tuff signed. It was kind of funny. On the first day, I lined up for like four hours and had zero luck. And then the second day, the community pulled through. My local game store, um, No Just Collectibles, was getting in line the following day. And they very kindly offered to line up with my card and get it signed. I love the little Jigglypuff on here. It's the sweetest thing. I think this might be one of my favorite things in my collection now. Thank you so, so much for watching this little vlog. I had the absolute best time at TRA Con 2023. I have my fingers and toes crossed that they're gonna run another one next year or sometime in the future. I will definitely be there. If you enjoy conventions and that kind of thing, keep me in the loop if there's stuff that you think I would be interested in around Australia. I would be super keen to go to some more things. And if you like these kinds of videos, please leave this one a like and subscribe. I make a new post every single week and I would love to have you back here. Here next time. Until then, look after yourself and I'll see you soon. Bye!